Hey guys, welcome back. This is Scott York and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to take a look at a very rare book. Not one copy, but two copies of Steve Reeves' One of a Kind, written by Milton T. Moore Jr. So if you are a Steve Reeves fan, you know that these books are really hard to find. They're very rare. And what makes these books really special is that they're each autographed. Let's take a look at the first one. Okay, so turning over a little bit here so we can read the autograph. It says, For David Gentle, Best Wishes, Milton T. Moore. And that was January of 1984. So David Gentle was an internationally acclaimed physical culture historian and author. And I'm going to link below the video to a website where you can learn more about Mr. Gentle, very well respected worldwide, huge collector of bodybuilding and weightlifting pictures, books, magazines, etc. David became an avid collector early on in his physical culture journey, at first buying the available magazines and then older back copies and any old books he could find, often scouring local bookstores to unearth some gems. Over the years, he formed one of the finest private physical culture collections in the world. He also traded with others and at times generally, generously gave away some of his acquisitions, myself being a recipient more than once. And that's from Peter Yates. So I'm going to link below, but uh, this copy of Steve Reeves' One of a Kind by Milton T. Moore was to David Gentle. All right, here's the other copy of Steve Reeves' One of a Kind. Uh, as I'm talking, it just blows my mind that I've got not one, but two copies of this book. It is absolutely incredible. All right, well, let's open this one up and see who this one's autographed to. For Steve and Aline, thanks for your trust and understanding. Thanks for helping me make something worthwhile out of my life. Your friend, Milton T. Moore, Jr., 9 23 83 Wow so this must have been one of the very first if not the very first copies of this really hard to find historic book Steve Reeves one of a kind uh, I'm gonna tell you a little bit and then we're gonna look through the book here I'm gonna tell you a little bit about what I know on this book so when Milton approached Steve uh, to make this book, Steve told Milton, just make sure that you put a lot of pictures in it because people want to see pictures. I know that Milton has a huge collection or had a huge collection of never before seen pictures of Steve. I don't really know how those two guys met. I'm going to have to ask around and see if I f can find out. If you know, then uh, leave a comment below. I'd love to know. Uh, I met Milton T. Moore back in 2007 at George Helmer's Steve Reeves Fitness and Film Festival. And my friend Joe Vitale got to talk to uh, Milton. And that was pretty amazing in and of itself. I know that Steve had Milton do many revisions of this book and until Steve was happy with it. I know that George wanted to expand the book and after I think Steve died those two talked about it but it never came came to fruition. Finally, last time I heard Milton was living in Las Vegas but nobody could get a hold of him. So hopefully Milton is still around and he's in good health. Alright well there you go there's the history of these two books and um, Let's go ahead and leaf through some of the pages here and maybe you'll see some pictures that you recognize and maybe you'll see some pictures that you don't recognize. We're going to use the original Steve Reeves signed book because the David Gentle copy has a little bit of tearing here at the bottom and I don't want to make it worse. Okay, here we go. So, opening cover right here. Interesting quote right down here at the bottom left. 
The strongest and the rarest are those who renounce their own time and become a living part of those yet to come. Milovan Dialis. Hope I'm saying that right. Ah, pretty interesting quote. Well, Steve was obviously very highly thought of by people around the world from all different countries. I know that he still has a fan club in Italy, and uh, they're still active, and I believe they have a Facebook page. All right, let's uh, take a look at some of the um, inside pages here. So over here, with special regard for Andy Hansen, Goldie Malone, that was Steve's mom, of course, and Mrs. Steve Reeves, a survivor who came through the fire. Up here it says, for Catherine, an ebony stranded beauty embodying lilacs and fire. A physical legend, Steve Hercules Reeves, Mr. America, Mr. World, and Mr. Universe. I don't know that I had seen this picture right here until I got this book. So that's a new one for me. So over here it talks about the earliest beginnings of Steve and how he was on the road to international stardom from the very beginning. People were following Steve around when he was walking along the beach and they knew there was something special about him. Not just because of his build but also because of his looks and just the way that he carried himself. Um, talks about his childhood down in here. And then over here, that's his dad who died in a tragic farming accident. That's his um, mother, Goldie. Here are the two of them, Steve and Goldie, uh, later on. And then this right here is uh, one of the earliest, if not the earliest, pictures ever taken of Steve. Here's another one. And then here he is at age 6. Alright, turning the page. Here's Steve at age 12 couple of pictures there and then over here he is at age 16. This picture is taken by Ed Yarick and age 16 a few days after he began lifting weights. So only after a few days that's how he's already looking at age 16. And then down here at the bottom we've got some age 17 high school yearbook age 16 right here. And I found this picture really interesting. I'm going to zoom in. This is the inside of Ed Yarick's gym. And so that must have been around 1940, mid 40s, somewhere in there. There's a close up view. Benches, barbells against the wall. Looks pretty basic, but that's where the magic was right there. All right, let's look at a few more pages. And what what's, blows my mind here is that this is the actual book that Steve was given by Milton T. Moore. And so just imagine Steve looking at this for the very first time. Mr. America over here and on the right. Mr. America, Lanza, photos. More photos from Lanza, Tony Lanza on the right, who I think was also a bodybuilder early on anyway, before he realized he was better at taking pictures. Just amazing photos in here. Most of these have been seen online, but as you get more into the book, you'll find a lot of pictures that have never been of course that one's famous right here where he's in France and one of the traditions is in in France is that if you're lying on the beach like that you might be surprised by a pretty lady trying to kiss you on the lips while you're out there sun tanning. Mr. Universe 1950 where he won the bronze Sandow who people thought Reg Park should have won. Not necessarily me that's just what people have said. More pictures from the same era. There is the bronze Sandow right there. Picture here, Reg Park standing right next to him, but it's obviously been cut out. 
There's a lot of text in the book, a lot of pictures as well. Um, I like it because, you know, you can read very comprehensive um, text to go with the pictures. Hundreds of pictures in this book. This is probably a picture that hasn't been seen a lot. Magazine covers on your right. And then over here, the king of the spectacle. This is where it all began with the movie Hercules. All right, I'm going to fast forward a little bit through all the movies and stuff. Uh, we could talk hours about this book. Um, if you can find a copy, I highly recommend you get it. You're going to pay for it. It's going to be $300 plus, but maybe somebody will give you a good price. And um, you never know. This right here, so I just recently did a video on this bust made by Kenneth Kendall. So if you haven't seen that video yet, check out my video catalog here on YouTube and watch that video. It's fascinating. In the video, we talk about Steve actually working on this bust. You can see he's working on the mouth in Kenneth Kendall's studio. Kenneth Kendall, of course, worked on the Marlon Brando and the James Dean bust. And then some more art right here of Steve with the calendar, Zodiac calendar that was done. And the story behind the calendar is fascinating. The artist didn't have any money to pay Steve, and so Steve would drive over to the artist's um, studio and pose for him so that the artist could create these drawings. And uh, Steve always said that he felt like the work that he put in for free to make this artist's vision come, come true is how he ended up getting the part of Hercules, karma. Karma came into play and that it was meant to be that he would get the role of Hercules. In the back of the book, there are tons of celebrities. Lou Ferrigno, right off the bat. Jack LaLanne, good friends, those two, Steve Reeves and Jack LaLanne. Page after page of celebrities talking about Steve and how he influenced them and how they were motivated to you know pursue pursue their own dreams Burt Reynolds so the book itself is about 192 pages here is the last page of course everybody knows those two photos there amazing here's the back cover so there you go guys, this is a review of Steve Reeves' One of a Kind, as far as I know, this has never been done on YouTube. Alright guys, there you go. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, I have a lot more Steve Reeves memorabilia. It's going to blow your mind, and I can't wait to share with you. Have a great day guys, and I'll talk to you later.